everybody, and welcome back to Continue Quest. My name's Paul. My name is Josh, and we already recorded some stuff, and it broke. So <laughs> and our... here we are again. It's awesome. Recording's great. <laughs> no, we uh, we we bought a broadsword. Yeah, and we bought six keys because we keys. need six of them just by guesstimation. I did some surprisingly good quick math. That was good. You it missed was good. it. Should we do? Should we do this? Should we open these doors? No. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, oh no. I. I mean. I think we've done a little research. No. We're just. No. We didn't. <laughs> shut, shut up. Shut up. We just knew this all. What does this guy do? Yo. Yo. Look at what that dude does. What's he doing on his what little is this island? Little wizard man on his island. Over the western part, uh, Edric created a rainbow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Tis also said that he entered. The darkness from a hidden entrance in the room of the Dragon Lord. That's fucking nonsense. <laughs> Look at our frame rate increases when we record. When we record. <laughs> I know. It's fucking That's weird. It's smooth as hell. That doesn't make sense, but okay. What's this guy? I just want a magic guy. I just want a magic man, mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we, yeah, we were just talking about um, how big of a pain in the ass this game can be. Yeah, and then it just it well, got the, us. We had some great moments. We met the guy who's waiting for his girlfriend. We met his yeah. girlfriend who's waiting for him. Yeah. And he's letting each other starve outside. His girlfriend's starving to death. Yeah. Um, so. But so we're, we're, we're going to... We we're in Rim Job Town. Yes. Uh, we just bought a broadsword, so we're fucking badass. Yeah, we can look it up. We can look it up. Let's see. Let's show people. Um, Let's show people our items. Item. We got six magic keys. <laughs> we got a fairy flute. Two torches, that's important. Your most favorite thing. A fighter's ring torch. Can we get rid of all of our extra fighter's rings that we uh, have? Uh, me? A fighter's ring torch. Let's see, can this guy buy them? I don't know. He looks like he can't sell things, really, can you? I don't know. Talk. Dealing weapons. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay. I want to sell. No, I want... Okay, do we need that magic armor? I don't... I think we need it. I mean, we need everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me if we need something? <laughs> I forgot, that's a bad question with you in this Yeah, game. we need everything. We need two of everything. <laughs> I need 1,600 flawless diamonds to sit in my kitchen. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I know how to Skyrim, dude. Flawless amethysts dude. are the prettiest, but they're the shittiest. You like amethyst the best? They're purple, that's a cool color. I like emeralds. Emeralds are also cool. Rubies can suck my dick. Why? What do you got against rubies? They're red, and it's the worst color. Damn. Color of hey, shit. Hey, guess what day it is. God. National Kiss of Ginger Day today. I know, because my mom kissed me this morning. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, get away from me, bitch. It's every day's a day day day. <laughs> Fucking, I hate that shit, dude. Every day's a day now. I know, it's stupid. What, it's not special Everything anymore. Everything has to be something. Nothing can just be Tuesday. Can't we just have a vanilla day for once? But then it'd be vanilla day. Then it Today's would be, the not right. a day day. Right, everything's a special day. Every, it's so dumb. I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. We're so bored with our lives. Because you go to your office. Yeah. And you're like, oh, life sucks. I wish I had a ginger to kiss. I need I need something to talk about with my coworkers who I hate. Whom I hate. <laughs> who I'm forced into 40-hour yeah. a week wage slavery. With. Yeah. Uh, Oh no, I shouldn't have. That's the worst. That's the worst part of this modern life that we've... That's the worst it's, part. It's, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of bad parts. That's pretty much one of them. I feel that pain, man, where you have to work with like a bunch of people it that you sucks. Have, you have no similarities with them. They're just... Because most people are terrible. They're yeah. terrible, shitty assholes. <laughs> who They're just happy just to be there. And it's like, yeah, but this is a horrible place. <laughs> you should not be happy to be here. You should be like, I'm better than this. But instead, everyone's like... Just don't fire me so I can buy my kids Ninja Turtle toys. <laughs> That's everyone's life now. I would, dude, if I could buy my kids some Ninja Turtle toys, I'd be happy, you know? Like, hey, accept it, Josh. Accept <laughs> mediocrity and Ninja Turtle toys in your life, okay? Mediocrity rules. <laughs> That's a song by... Who knows that song? Mediocrity rules? I don't know, what is it like? A Someone's gonna tell Five me. Iron Frenzy song No, or it's... Uh, Atari's. Cut this out. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm we not, don't have that. We don't have that option in this. Game. I'm not doing that. So, all right. So now, what do we do? We're just fighting people now. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Do you want me to do a little research? Uh, I think we're so. I think we have to. I mean, we can fight the dragon, maybe. All right. I, so I feel like he's gonna kill us. We but. gotta go to the weapon shop. We got our broadsword. Yeah, we did that. Uh, ignore the magic armor, apparently. Um, don't tell me what to do. That's what this <laughs> this guy is telling us what what to and what not to do. Um, I kind of want it. <laughs> No, I don't know. If we don't need it, fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, fuck it. We're not dealing with that. This dude's hurting me. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. I don't. 
uh, talk to the wandering red knight. He's, this guy tells you to talk to everybody. Yeah, he wants us to ha like have a meaningful conversation with all these I don't, extraneous characters. I'm talking to you through yeah. time travel right now, person who wrote this game pack. You're, you're, you're literally yeah. traveling through time from back when you wrote this in 2004 to talk to me. 2004. And... <laughs> That was a long and time ago. I don't need to talk to these other people because we're having this clairvoyant conversation <laughs> right now. And you can just tell me what to do. Yeah, just tell me the thing to do. I don't want to so, hear about how you want to talk to people, you know? This guy only wanted us to buy two keys. <laughs> we might have bought a couple extra keys. Well, let's start opening some doors. We, we, bought that keys. E we can go to the inn in Rim Rimmel Job Town. All right. And we can open the in inn doors. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go down there and open those doors. Okay. There's wings in there. That'll bring us back to the castle. Yes. Those are handy. And then uh, we got the fairy flute, right? Yeah, we have that. We did that. So I think this guy wants us to go get the fairy flute, but we already did that. Yeah, we already did that. Fuck this guy. He doesn't even know us. Basically, he don't even know me. Basically, what it looks like he wants us to do is get to level 13. And fight the dragon. And then and then save up money to buy the magic armor. And, oh. then, we gotta get, and then we go fight the dragon. Oh, well, maybe we need to do that. <laughs> Seven thousand goddamn gold. You know, seventy-seven hundred. Seventy-seven hundred. Eight thousand gold. Let's All call right. a spade a spade. <laughs> it's you know. I like to round down when you're supposed to round it's up. It's like when you okay. buy a car and they're like, it's a uh, fourteen nine ninety nine. It's yeah. fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. And just, you look at that fourteen and say, oh, I can afford that. That's one of my favorite <laughs> lines from uh, from Mad Men. At one point, uh, Rogers like talking to like his like copywriters yeah. and he's like give me something good he's like 99 yeah. cents you know what someone someone came up with that yeah give me that <laughs> someone came I love that show. Yeah. He's the best character. And he gets out. He, like, wins. He, like, wins oh, yeah. that show. He's, oh, he has the best life. He, has, he fucking does what he pleases the yep. whole time. He's, dude, he's zen as shit. Yep. Uh oh, this is When gonna... he trips. Oh, the my God. Where he trips and he fucking smokes that cigarette in, uh, in like, a one puff. <laughs> yeah. In the, the accordion <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> and he opens up the bottle of vodka and, like, Russian <laughs> orchestra and, like, or, like. Oh, yeah, and he puts the cat back on yeah. and it's still playing. <laughs> or not, Ru Russian, uh, fucking opera <laughs> plays. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> or, yeah, that's right. No, it's just, it's, like, an orchestra. It's some crazy orchestra. <laughs> oh, my Fuck God. Yeah, so dude. fucking good. Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll just go, we'll go in there, we'll get those wings, because then. Then we don't need to walk back. We don't need to walk. We only, we only have to walk one way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, do they use up when you use them? or do they? I don't know. We'll He's find dodging out. the fuck out of me. <laughs> fuck you, dude. You're not even that strong. So, we're... Um, Piece of shit. We threw out a little a Twitter message. And we, we're going to take your continue questions. <laughs> um, which is the most genius thing we've ever come up with. Yeah, we, we did this before on Super Mario RPG. It's really smart. It's really smart. Uh, <laughs> someone uh, less oh, go, go, terrible, <laughs> who's at Brovakin, uh, said, yeah. talk honestly about how you ashamed of yourselves you are that for making that horrible question. Not fun. at all. Not one bit. Not ashamed in the, in the least. Are you ashamed of your 2011 <laughs> username for Twitter? <laughs> Brovakin? Everyone's going to think this is cool. In 2016, they're going to be like, whoa. I'm just kidding. I still love it. It is cool. It is cool. You know what? That game's timeless. I love that game. So that great. I'm going to... I like his new name. Let's... Oh, cook, cook, cook. <laughs> I'm going to sip some coffee. I'm sorry. Okay. It's L-E-S space. O-Q, O-Q, O-Q. <laughs> That's the only thing you could pronounce that as. is less... Oh, cook, cook, cook. Oh, or maybe go, go. because Q is silent without the U, it's just less. Oh, terrible. Oh, is that true? Is that like a, yeah, or is Q that one of those I before E except after C bullshits? There's no Q. Q doesn't make a sound without a without, without a, a U? U. I mean, you can't use it apparently. Quack, quick, quick, so coddle. Quick, so coddle, dude. That's <laughs> got a, it's got a U after it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it does. But only because we made it that way. How did they say it? How did the Mayans say it, or the Aztecs, or I whatever? I don't know. Do I look Mayan? Yeah, I guess I do. Yes. I look Mayan to you. <laughs> You could be like, I don't know, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I last I of was. the Mohicans. <laughs> That'd be fucking cool, man. It'd be cool to be mine. I would. Okay, I'm gonna open this door. <laughs> door. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Oh, it feels good to have. Is that this Magic power Man? Now. Please be Magic Man. I don't wanna. Good day. I am Howard we Four. That. We did that. Already. Oh, we did. Oh, we did this already. Okay. Well, what's in here? Wings, right? We get the wings in here, yeah. Okay. Well, that kind of was a waste. <laughs> oh, God, I fucking hate. Opening things this way. It's stupid. That's, that's how Hath found the wings. We're gonna sleep. 
We're gonna do it, because I don't know how to do it. You still have 11 MP, though. Is that enough to heal? Yeah, but we, it'll heal our MP you, also. You really fucking blew it this time. No, we got, now we have 50. Look, look at 62. All right, you ready to do some grinding? All right, we're grinding out here. Let's grinding. Oh, yeah, sweet. I'm always ready for grinding. Uh, Nigel McNigel Nigel's ass, uh, the geo wants to know about the geopolitics of Eastern Asia and their impact on the global economy. Eastern Asia? Yeah, he's uh, talking about, like, China, I guess, and Korea, Vietnam? and... Vietnam? I don't Vietnam. know. Vietnam. China is a big one, but I don't know about all the other ones, really. I mean, China's a world power at this point. Let's not even joke ourselves. They, they are I'm world... just gonna be Chinese soon. Like, you just like in Looper. To... When yeah. he... You want to go to China. You want to go to China. I'm from the future. <laughs> Look, I'm from the future. You want to go to China. <laughs> and he does. He goes. That's a great line. Yeah. <laughs> he does go, but he wanted to go to France. He did, but... It breaks his heart, man. Well, good thing he went to China, because then he meets his Chinese wife. That's true. <laughs> Everything works out. <laughs> or does it? Why are they dodging? Oh, I feel like this game just got harder somehow. <laughs> Maybe because we went to the harder town? I don't know. Maybe we went to the no, harder part of the world? No, get easier. Don't get harder. We're getting like 50 gold a pop. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna get that magic armor pretty quick. Uh, I would... I mean, I think in this episode, maybe we might... What? <laughs> no. Bold accusations. Jesus. <laughs> well, maybe in the next one. What we're, the... What? Fuck <laughs> is this? What the fuck? He, you, he wears his strap on the other side. It's just a fucking mirror palette. Yeah, but then they change the colors. Yeah, they do the palette swap. Normally they would just do a palette swap, but they're like, that's too obvious. We'll just do a mirror. We'll do a flop. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that we blew it. What do you oh, mean? Oh, we did it. Oh, okay. Hey, you're fine, 68 dude. 68 gold? You're fucking fine. I don't want to fight another one of them. <laughs> you have 34. How much damage does he do on, on the reg? Seven? Sometimes he does a lot. All right, well, keep yourself above, like, 15. Dude. I'm dude. Gonna, I'm going to heal. No, 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 no. Push, 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 push. Is this, like, working did out? Did you heal? No. Good. I hit Yeah, I'm like, this B. is exactly like working out. Exa You're I like my your, spotter. Yeah, my... I'm your trainer slash yeah. spotter. And Dude. I'm telling you to push through, man. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't feel like it. If you die, it's my fault. That's like any uh -oh. regular trainer. Dude, you're fucking 16. You're good. He's dead. Now you can heal. I don't like to see that, that red. <laughs> That's where all those games like Call of Duty got this from. This is the grandfather of red screen. Yeah, when like you're, there's blood in your eyes. Which for came some first, reason. this or Doom? Probably Do this, right? Do this came first. Yeah, Doom. Doom. It was or like what, Doom. like 93? Doom. And with an M? With an M. Yeah, it was like 94, 93, 92 maybe? I don't know. 91? <laughs> Doom was pretty early. I'm going to look it up right yeah, now. Yeah, I think it might be like 91 actually. Doom. Let's see. I remember playing the fuck out of it. Doom? I was a big. Uh, it was 93. Cool. I was a big Duke Nukem. Guy. Yeah, because it had boobs in it. Yeah, strippers, and you could play pool. You could play pool in that? I never yeah, did that. you could that. push the balls around, and they'd... And they wow. Would, yeah. This was 1986, so the, yeah, Doom got it from this. 1986. How old were you? You were two. Yep. How I old were you? I was three. Damn, you, how young were you when you got this game? Um, I don't know. Five? <laughs> Six? When did I, I get a Nintendo? Five? Yeah, man, I was, like, real weird about it. Like, I, like... Like one of the first games I ever played was Zelda. Of course. Well, that's different though. It's a little more not, matching. Yeah, not like. Whoa! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Fifty do, bitch. Oh, he gave a shit gold. Yeah, though. he because he got crit. He's a fucking hedge magician. <laughs> fucking thinks he's a court magician. He's a fucking hedge magician. Like a hedge fund? <laughs> no, that's a hedge fund. Good. That's money. Yeah, I thought. Wait, I thought maybe Back he was this time, hoarding was his bad. money. I don't, what is that? Like a hedge knight. Oh, a, a hedge knight. knight. Like a hedge okay, knight was a okay. guy that didn't belong to a king. Okay. They were All just right. like they were just like you. You can come here when I have a war. <laughs> when I have a war, I'll call you. Yeah, up, you show up. And you can die for me for a little bit of gold. Show up for the war. These magicians stink. I want to fight more gold man. They stink and they make shit money. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, Skeleton. Let's look through these continued questions. Someone had asked about traumatizing childhood vacations, but I think we already talked about those. There's a, the one time I slept for like 24 hours straight and my cousin hated me for it. On vacation? Yeah. What were you, why? Why'd you sleep so I much? was in the water all day, like we were at the shore. Yo. And I just was like, done. I was like, I just worked out for 17 Dude, hours. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing, like, you take your kids to the beach. Yeah. And they're, you're gonna fucking zap them. Yeah, that, I was done. I was, it was it. And then I remember it was 96, because I remember our, we would go with our grandparents every year. Oh, shit. And um, 
and the it was the Olympics and the bombing happened and they woke us up in the middle of the night. I'd been asleep for <laughs> you like need to see this hard. twenty hours. I was asleep and they're like, "Get up! Something's happening at the Olympics." <laughs> so we said, "No." So we get up and we were just like, "Oh man, that's crazy." And then you go back. And to then sleep. I was like, "Okay, I'm going back to bed now." <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to bed. Get up and play at the arcade. See ya. Yeah. So that it wasn't traumatizing for me so much. <laughs> But for him, it was. Hold on. Brad is traumatizing me and saying we gotta take a quick break. Okay. (laughs) So we'll be right back. Welcome back to Continue Quest. I'm Josh Still. And I'm Paul Still. We just killed a metal scorpion. I'm gonna heal. And we're talking about uh, traumatizing vacations. I don't think I had... I had like one traumatizing vacation where my sister got lost in St. Augustine, Florida. (laughs) It was fucking. That was. I was scary. And then she homeward bounded her and way. She home. homeward bounded her way home. <laughs> I remember that. She reverse home alone. <laughs> she didn't get lost at home. She got lost. She got away. lost away and then ended up back home. Not through a series of zany plane rides <laughs> and crazy characters. And then uh, John Candy was in it. John, John Can- Candy, who I think he's the same character from Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. No, he? no, 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 no. His name's not Dell in in the in that movie. I don't know if he has the same name, but he's not the same character. He's like with it in. Well, he's with it at the end of the movie. That other movie, Plane, Trains, he kind of gets his shit together. But during it, he's not. Oh, he's a goofball. He's a real goofball. He crashes the car and did he lights know- the car on fire. Did you know there's a deleted scene where his wife thinks that that he's cheating on her? <laughs> Oh, not, really? not not John Candy. Yeah, because his wife's dead. Martin, yeah. Steve Martin. Spoiler alert, in case you haven't seen that movie from 1985. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, but funny. yeah, so she uh, <laughs> she thinks he's, Steve Martin is cheating on her. Yeah, that wouldn't work in that uh, movie. Well, so yeah, they took it out, I guess, because it seemed a little too dark. <laughs> yeah, it's a little but weird. There's, but it makes sense why she's getting more and more angry at him. Oh, When right, he's, like, yeah. obviously just stuck. Yeah. Not, you know, she thinks he's cheating. Which makes it make a little bit more sense. But I think it makes sense that she's mad that he's not home. She could just be irritable at the, the circumstance. Yeah. You know? She doesn't have to be mad at him but personally. She's really taking it out on him in that. <laughs> well, he's a dumb husband. You're about to go into red, dude. You're one away from red. I know. That's okay. Dead. He's dead. All right. I'm going to heal more. All right. You know what? I said we were going to get to 7,000 pretty quick, but uh, 50 not that much money. <laughs> now, that I, now that I think about it. Uh, divide 7,000 by 50. Three, we have to kill 3,000 guys. <laughs> <laughs> great math just great math it's like that internet thing where people are like the powerball is 1.5 billion dollars everyone could be rich it's like no that's not how math works you're doing the, you're not the zero you're missing some zeros <laughs> 230 million of us <laughs> what is that what we're at now yeah 230 yeah that was probably like 400 let's say let's round you think up. so eh, probably yeah i can't imagine that a census is really all that accurate yeah, a lot I don't. I don't ever get called for it. No, I've never even heard. I don't even know if we have census. I don't want to do the census because I think that's why I got called for fucking federal jury duty. Because <laughs> I'm on the grid now. Yo, I was talking to somebody. I haven't gotten called for jury duty. Well, now you're life. gonna. Yeah, I know. I put, I'm putting it out there, and some some court ma- magistrate is listening to this right now. Yeah. And he's he's like, oh, I love oh, you, but I also love making Paul be in court. <laughs> I got called twice uh, the first time I was in school, so I could just be like, I'm in school, yeah. so I can't go. But this this time you claimed hardship because you have to work, right? Yeah, I was like, I can't just go leave. Like, I can't just, like, be, like the federal jury. That's, like, years, dude. That's, like, yeah. two fucking years. Yeah. You fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> like, no. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. I'm, a, I'm not a patriot. Fine. I'm, I'm anti-America. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Dude. So then they were like, okay, we'll call you later. And I was like, God, man, I gotta fake my own death again. <laughs> I gotta get out of this again somehow. Uh, yeah, it sucks. I don't wanna, I hope I don't have to do it. It's, dude. So, uh, I got, I got one. Okay. I got a continue okay. question. <laughs> what is the most underrated band? If you could snap your fingers and make one band the biggest in the world, which would it be? I wouldn't make any band the biggest in the world. That's like a curse, that's, right? That's like, you don't wish that on anyone. Do you think most bands want to be the biggest band in the world? I don't think so. I don't think if you're a person like that, a creative musical person, that you necessarily want to have that attention. You know? Yeah. It's you not pro- good. you might want you want your thing to be broadly appealing, right? Enough to enough, but right. you want you want people to like what you make. Yeah. But you also don't want to be like you too. Yeah, I wouldn't. That would, I mean, look at like they're Coldplay. They're stinky. Yeah. They're a stinky bands. 
But that's because they watered themselves down, right? Well, they're in all the movies. Right. They're at the credits of all the movies now. <laughs> and I go over to my mom's house, and she's watching Larry Crown for the 90th time, and <laughs> fucking Coldplay gets played at the end or oh whatever. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, well, what's your most underrated band, then? That I maybe don't... wouldn't be annoyed in... Maybe, you don't want to anoint them as the most popular band in the world, but you, you still like them. You're most underrated band. I For you. I don't know, like, if they're... I think all bands are kind of underrated now. Like, there isn't really, like... I mean, unless you're, like, a product of, like, the musical business. Right. You're kind of underrated because you're just doing your thing. Right. I mean, I don't know. The music industry kind of is dead. <laughs> I mean, it's dead, but it's also, like... The people who are in control of it are... It's just a machine. So there's it's not just a, weird. Yeah, there's not, like, a... I don't know. It's hard because there's not there's music's not dead. There's tons no, of great yeah, music. No, there's a million out. great bands, but like it's the, the 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 system that was in place like when we were growing up doesn't really exist anymore. Right. Right. And now everyone's got to do it themselves. Yeah, which kind of is good. It kind of sucks though. Um, I'm gonna go pay for more. So you're life. saying you don't have a band that you think I is mean, underrated? No, I I don't even like listen to new stuff that much. I wouldn't. What even about an old band that you think is underrated? There's a, I don't know. There's a band. What's the, what's that band's name? Kangaroo Jacket or something like I that. I don't know that one. I heard them on the radio and I was like, this is kind of cool. This reminds me of like early '90s kind of music. Uh huh. But like, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't want to have that power. <laughs> you know? No, I'm not saying uh, we we've thrown that part out. It's I'm not gone. gonna die here. You are. Uh, I wasn't spotting you. And you're oh lifting God. 300 uh -oh. pounds. Oh no! Oh shit! Okay, let's do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, heal's so cheap. I know. We but we need like the better heal. What? Is there's a better heal? Heal more. <laughs> I love that they were just like they couldn't come up with like heal aga or something magical sounding. Heal more. It's very simple. Let's, let's give this guy like some, some money. That's like some fucking shit they sell on television at four in the morning. <laughs> heal more. Get heal more. Fucking thirty-minute infomercial about heal more. Heal more. Apply to apply to your head directly. directly to head. <laughs> dude, fucking. Oh my god. Remember head-on commercials? Oh my god. It was dude. brilliant. It was brilliant. It is brilliant. It's that's all a commercial needs to be. Yeah. Just a repetitive, mindless, annoying thing. Fucking Don Draper didn't come up with that one. You don't need any Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sleep. He someone, slept me. Someone simply responded to us. Uh, they just said because we asked what do you want us to talk about, and they just said Juju. <laughs> And Calvin and Hobbes. So What's, the band Juju. Oh, the band Juju? Okay. Which I don't like. I'm not a fan I don't of know Juju. them. I don't it's know them. It's a little them. too avant-garde. I, I like avant-garde music. You know I like Whistlecore. You know I like my whistlecore. <laughs> I don't like Juju. Uh, I just, it's not for me. Uh, yeah. Calvin and Hobbes. I can talk about Calvin, Calvin Hobbes I wasn't all day. like a huge Calvin and Hobbes guy. No? Not really. Dude, nothing is better. It's than, great when you're an adult. But... Nothing is better. <laughs> wow. Nothing. Jesus. In this world is better than having a, like a, just one Calvin and Hobbes book, like an anthology book, yeah. of like a bunch of things, and like reading it in bed before you go to sleep every night. Uh -huh. It's awesome. I like, was a Waldo man. <laughs> Waldo doesn't even have a story. Where's Waldo? Doesn't even have a story. No, the story is that he doesn't have a story. Oh shit, he's a mystery man. I always was fascinated when I was little with like little drawings, like little mysterious. Um, yeah. I like that. Well, like really highly detailed. Yeah, drawings. highly detailed, like giant, like underground, like ant farms and stuff. That mm -hmm. always fascinated me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's I why you know. like Sim Ant. Oh, I love Sim Ant. That game was great. <laughs> we should play that on this oh, show. We should. It's really hard to beat. I don't know if we can do it. It's like impossible. It gets like, yeah, like the RNG at the end. Just, yeah. It's too much. But the best part is at the beginning when you make them feed each other and they go, <laughs> and they puke in each other's mm -hmm. mouths. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I don't know. Calvin Hobbes is great, but... It's, dude, it's the best because when you read a book, they put them... It's usually, like, a year of comics. Yeah. So, so like... Blast it, through them. Yeah, but it goes through, like, sequentially. So, like, you read through the fall comics, and then you get to the winter comics, and they, like... And you, like, see it, like, the season changes as yeah. you're reading it. It's great. It's a great little... I don't know. That's kind of neat. I didn't it's know nice. that. It's not, yeah, because they just... They put them... They have to put them in sequential order. Yeah. Because, you know, they... Every five continuity. days... continuity. Yeah, every five days is a storyline. <laughs> What's Calvin up to this time? How's he, gets, he annoying his teacher? He gets up to some shit, man. <laughs> and then, like, every Sunday they do the reset, the full-color reset. I didn't need to live... I didn't need to read Calvin and Hobbes. I lived, I lived it. it. 
I was. Yeah. I was an annoying. I bastard. piss on everything, man. I don't Chevy care. logos, Ford logos, Dallas Cowboy logos. My, I piss on Calvin pissing on something. <laughs> Does anyone have that yet? That is really funny, and we should make it. If they don't, because we'll make literally hundreds of dollars, <laughs> hundreds, tens of dollars. <laughs> These these wolves are bastards, dude. They're fucking annoying. Someone said the Dragon Quest game in Japan is based around rebuilding the first game city in Minecraft. What do you think, Josh? What? Uh, I don't I know what that means. Read that again. I don't. It just says the sound. Dragon Quest game in Japan. I don't know if he's talking about a new one. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe. It's based around rebuilding the first game city in Minecraft. What do you think, Josh? I don't know what that means. I think that you yes. <laughs> That's like the strangest I, 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 phrase there, sentence. He I'm, left out a couple t too many details. Yeah, I don't know. It's Ab Abram Abraman the sheep. A Arbman the sheep is his name. Um, JJ he, Abrams trolling me. Yeah, JJ <laughs> Abrams is just he knows throwing some fucking word soup at you and hoping that you'll <laughs> break your brain will just shut down. Your movies are the greatest. <laughs> the uh, I, I I'm assuming he's talking about a new one. Yeah, but, I guess so, right? But then it's in Minecraft, so you have to go into Minecraft and played, play it. I never really ever play Minecraft. That I think much. you'd love Minecraft. I know I would love it. I it's know. Simple repetitive tasks. I over just and over need again. to dig a hole. <laughs> Dude, you fucking love it. Don't dig straight down. <laughs> no, that's where you get to the bad things. Yeah, dig up, stupid. It's like the where it's like Hobbit logic. Don't dig straight down into the mine. Yeah. Or the Balrog comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. It's, what? I don't know. I hate the. I just want. I just wanted to get to the magic armor. Are we buying it? Did we decide? Yeah. So that's what we have to. We're gonna All go right. fight the dragon after this. Oh my god. What are we gonna get to? Like level thirteen or 13, something? Yeah. What are we at now? Uh, eleven. Still, still eleven. I think we needed nine hundred and eighty uh, additional experience points. I don't remember what we were at. Oh my god. When we started. It's gonna get. It starts. It gets to a point where it's like, you need twenty thousand, and you're like, wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking horrible. Ugh. Well, who picked this game? <laughs> God damn. So we're like, we're gonna do this. So we're getting basically what we're getting into right now <laughs> is we're we're driving to Florida, and we're in like we're what's like the longest state driving through Florida, Georgia. Oh my God. Well, once you Georgia's I always, pretty long. I always thought that Florida was the longest. Well, Florida's definitely the longest when you're in Florida, but getting to Florida, is, come on. Georgia's pretty long. Yeah, I mean Florida, like, because if you're going to Disney World, the Carolinas are kind of like one state, so they're kind of right. like, there's no difference between yeah. them. So you're like, okay. Really, the whole East Coast all looks exactly the goddamn same. Yeah, I, I, I just remember after Washington being like, well, now there's nothing. <laughs> Once you get over the Mason Dixon, you're like, well. <laughs> and my grandmother would be like, I'm hungry. I want to have a sit down meal. I need some lasagna. I want some pork. Or whatever. Pork? Meatloaf. She wanted meatloaf. Yeah, That's you were talking about wanted. meatloaf, yeah. She was like, I want to sit down. And it's like, bitch. <laughs> you are sitting. We're driving you're to Florida. We love Always level. sitting. We love What? Right. Yes. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Should we go save? We can test out our. No, uh, no, we got plenty of HP and MP. What happens if the game stops? Let's, and we gotta do next all this time again. that we we learned a new spell. What is it? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Heal more! Heal more! Outside. Uh, what does that do? That when you're in a cave, you can go out of the cave. Oh, it's an escape rope. That's great. Okay, cool. All right, do you want me to heal? Okay, I'm cool with that. No, 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 no. You don't need to heal. Whoops. All right, fine. It's fine. Now it's we're fine. even. See, I knew that was gonna do that. <laughs> I knew numbers were gonna work out that way. So. I know how things are. I wanted it. I fucking hate these. I'm sick of these so fucking poor. things. <laughs> <laughs> fucking social Darwinism over here. <laughs> Ugh, they're the worst. Apparently, in our more recent episodes, we were getting really into class yeah, consciousness. We got told how we don't know what we're talking about. And look, we might be simplifying politics. Yeah. But if you're against, uh, against, yeah. if you're, if you're. It's like Nucky Thompson Republican, shit. I don't going know what on. the Republican Party is, is for anymore besides racism and guns. <laughs> but uh, if they're for anything other than that. <laughs> it's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna, people are going to get mad at that. Everyone's going to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do. Look, I grew up in a Republican household. I mean, who didn't if you yeah, grew up oh, in the yeah, suburbs, no, you yeah. know? Oh, absolutely. Um, and I heard all about it, and I know all the arguments. Yeah. Um, it's not working for a lot of people. For millions and millions of people, it ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> so. here's, the, here's the big problem. Here's the big problem. 
And this is something I'm completely uneducated about <laughs> and have no idea what I'm talking about, but I just, this, is what, this is what I observe. Mm -hmm. The idea that we all need to have a job. At some point, we're going to automate most of this That's shit. That's exactly what... Dude, I was... Were I, we talking about that I the think other we day? Were, I think we might have been talking yeah, about that. Yeah, how, like, at some point, like, human beings are going to need to live a life that isn't working. Right. Because we're not going to be able to, because there's not going to be stuff to do. We're already doing it. Yeah, so we're going to need to figure out something to do. So It's like Star Trek. Eventually, right. we're going to have to be like, right. hey, yeah, just you can work if you want to. Right. But you, you leave your friends to. behind. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can work if you want to. <laughs> I realized what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna have to get off this planet. That's the. There's only one thing we can do: is not be here anymore. Right, right. Because yeah, Brad there's says too we many shouldn't of... be here anymore because he's telling us this episode's over. Right, I'm gonna heal up. <laughs> just, you're not paying attention. So no gonna... shit. <laughs> You can heal if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in a week. And we'll talk about class consciousness, because that's what we're all about.